Welcome to this channel. The channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So uh, last time I shared this uh, YouTube. Title is uh, Wing Chun version 1850s and version 1960 are uh, different style. Uh, and I share the game rules there. Uh, here is the game rules for the 1850s Wing Chun. So after I share this YouTube, I got many questions and uh, many conversation discussions with our Wing Chun friends and traditional Chinese martial arts friends. And it gives rise to many issues. And so today I like to share with you because most people do not know what I'm presenting. Okay. Uh, most people are actually being educated in today's Wing Chun so much that they not be able to look outside the box. Okay. So let me get this thing straight for you once for all, because this is very important. However, before I go on to the real issue, I like to share with you this. Wing Chun by evidence in the history is a Buddhist art, a Shaolin art. A Shaolin art, a Buddhist art, is not what you uh, see in the movies. Uh, you have Chi Sim go to the red boat or Mui go to the red boat or all sort of you fighting me, I fighting you. Real Buddhist mindset, mentality is in this uh, YouTube from the Zen Patriarch Master Shen Hua. He's a real Zen Patriarch because he got certified by the uh, the the the, the all the Zen Patriarchs, late Venerable Xu Yun. All of these are tra trackable, traceable. Okay? So this is how a mindset of a Buddhist is supposed to be. Sure, people practice martial arts, but the mindset and the reality is in this YouTube. If you are serious in Wing Chun and if you run a big school and you really, really want to uh, teach good students and uh, really be able to comprehend what is the real Buddhist art, please watch this video. Okay. So listen from the real monk, not from somebody making movies. Those are really, really bad. The second thing I like to share is with the conversations about the video I share on the game rule. Guess what? People are really brainwashed by this. Uh, bad mouth, put down type of uh, uh, mentality, brainwash. So as you can see in the past many, many decades, when one Wing Chun guy talk about another Wing Chun guy, always it is the, 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 the focus on the person, the bad mouth, the, uh, the put down. 
it is not focused on what people do, what is the technical issue, but uh, about people. So it's just like uh, before anything, one already takes sight. For me, I don't like anybody to take my sight because this is an education, culture, and technical uh, channel. One should be able to say, hey, Hendrik, I don't think what you present sounds good. Or, Hendrik, this is the way how I see. Let's discuss on it. That Let's reason on this. Instead of taking my side or somebody else's side. Well, there is missing the entire point. And if the mind is not trained to look into technical detail, be able to reason, be able to, to, uh, to, to really discuss, what is that? Is that a cult? You don't see those in university, in the professional. Sometimes I screw up, I have to bite the bullets. But hey, being professional, meaning that we, we should put things aside to discuss technical. It doesn't matter if it is me who present the thing or anybody who present the thing. If it is proper, you say, yes, this is proper, this is reasonable. If it's not, then you say, no, this is not. So why am I making uh, this big deal? Because if you are not trained this way, you cannot stand on your feet. And that is really serious. See, ego is different stuff. Ego is saying, well, wow, this is my way. My seafood's way. Those are cold. But be able to look at technical saying, okay, I analyze this, this is this, this is this. Well, Hendrik, I don't think what you say here sounds good. Or there are probably the, uh, that it can be incorrect. That is have a, a, a clear mind to see things. Without this kind of thinking, how can you be good? How can you train your student? How can you be the next grandmaster? It's, it's like in the university. Didn't every classroom train that way? And isn't it that that is the bottom line of philosophy? Philosophy doesn't mean that uh, it is that religion. Philosophy means the way how to think. Like you got a PhD in electrical engineering, the doctor of philosophy in engineering, doctor of philosophy. So one need to be able to think straight. If one cannot think straight and start with, because Hendrik said, then it is right. Because if somebody said, so it's wrong. Well, that's bad, really bad. Okay. We need to get rid of this because the bad habit of past decades, you see, this guy saying that guy is bad and then even the classmate bad-mouthing each other and all kind of thing. What is that? Those are really low, low, low class of behavior. Okay? You need to be like a, in the, you have a PhD in engineering, you not need to be able to look at what it is. Is, is, this, uh, is this design works or not? It's not because of certain people uh, uh, make the design, you, you, you say it's good. You don't go to uh, working in a, in, a, in a Silicon Valley company and uh, because the CEO make the design, you clap. No, you don't. You just... You look at that seriously, okay? Because it doesn't matter CEO or CTO who, who the hell designed that thing. If it doesn't work, the entire company go down, including us. We lose our job, okay? So Wing Chun is like that. And not to only that, okay? When you teach your student, you're responsible for that. 
So let's go into it. So in this video, the game rules is there. Why is this 1850s game rules is so, so, so critical now? Why is it extremely important? So in that video, I share with you the distance, uh, how the game is played. You need to shoot in, you need to get close, and then uh, you, you, you continue uh, changing different uh, attack momentum uh, you can throw you can sweep him down you can do all sorts of stuff in that video why is this game rule is so critical today let me share with you why today Wing Chun do not have that thing Okay, now, today's Wing Chun need the 1850s game rule. So the 1850s game rules is like what? Think about a basketball game rules. Basketball game rule. Decades, 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 100 years ago when people... Uh, uh, design this basketball game. What did they do? They show how to play this basketball and the game rules and some basic there. And guess what? They give this game rules to the entire world. And you can see that once people know this game rule, even far, far away in the village, you can see that people can hang a, a rattan ring to the coconut tree and play. Okay? Now, guess what? The more they play with the rules, the more they have new techniques, expansions, grow the techniques. And then, the more they play it, the more talented people surface. Generations after generations, it become today's basketball game. Okay. And basketball is not tennis. Right? Tennis has its own rules. So that is the basic, that's the life of it. The 1850s games rules. Within the games rule, it shows what it is. It is a short strike art, such as a basketball, it's not a volleyball, a basketball. It shows how the game is played. And it is open for everybody. You can play in, uh, in, uh, in Manhattan with your top stadiums, or you can play in a very far away village with just a coconut trees and just hanging a rattan ring there. And don't even have the, 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 the uh, spot like this New Balance uh, spot coat but just wearing normal dress. It doesn't matter. What matter is because we know what it is playing basketball. We know the game rules and we all have fun. We keep in playing and you people will find out a different way to do things, to play it. That's how things expand and grow. Isn't it Western boxing this way since 100 years ago? Isn't it judo that way?
But without that, you you know, what do you have to 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 uh to to develop the people to expand the game and uh to to just uh uh let many many talented people surface. Now, saying that, so what is so special between the game rules of eighteen fifties and the game the the game rules of uh nineteen sixties Wing Chun? Well, eighteen fifties Wing Chun is a momentum based game. 1960s Wing Chun is a technical hand techniques type of games. So, if you look at the uh, martial of the world, the entire world, be it BJJ, be it uh, Thai boxing, Western boxing, it is all a momentum based game. Okay. So, what did people do in the momentum based game? Continuous attack, continuous attack dynamically. That's the game, the name of the game. Continuous attack. And this continuous attack is when people like uh, Bruce Lee, our uncle Bruce, Bruce saying that be like water, flow, continuous dynamically firing and attacking, playing with this momentum. That is the name of the game the bottom line of the game so Chinese in 1560s General Chi Ji Guang write down black and white I translate in this book what exactly it is, fighting is about, martial is about. It is a momentum based game. Now, the 1850s uh, game rule, if you watch this video, it shows you the characteristics. It is not BJJ, it is not Western boxing. It is not uh, karate, it is not Thai boxing, it is not wrestling, it is not judo. However, it play with the momentum. It has its own uniqueness. Okay. Now, speaking of the 1960s Wing Chun's game rules, it is a technique game rule based on your tan pong fu, your combinations, and then uh, based on uh, a counter and attack of different techniques. Now, it is not a momentum base type of uh, of uh, of game that's why people is good at like good at chi sao where your chi sao have this technique that techniques okay those are techniques based but your techniques based of game you cannot go to uh, go to uh, play with the bjj mma guy Because it, it, it is a defined with a specific environment of Qi Sao 
and people who uh, play the, uh, the, the, the 1960s of game have their own uh, rules and platform. For example, this morning, somebody sent me this. One of the fundamental Wing Chun block is Pak Sao, where the practitioner divert attack with palm of his or her hand. Pak Sao is refined version. Okay, so this is exactly the definitions of the, uh, uh, the, the technical base. So you got, say, uh, in a school, you got the instructor, and then uh, you can get the opponent or a wooden dummy. And then you say, uh, if the wooden dummy do this, I'm going to do this, execute this technique, this hand techniques like Pak Sao, Tan Sao, all these techniques. Or if you got a, a classmate to demonstrations, to, to punch, and then you would say, well, I use, use Pak Sao this way, I move away, and then I punch him, and then again, I can punch him, I can punch him. Those are all technical way, technical base. Say in MMA, in, uh, in, in, in Thai boxing, you don't see that. You just see a continued firing of attack. A Western boxer will keep their distance the, the optimized distance, optimum distance for them is Ali, Muhammad Ali will keep a, a, a distance different than, uh, than, than, than uh, Mike Tyson who play Picabo. And uh, they play continual shot. Nobody go, I'm going to uh, block, resist, or parrying, or divert your energy. No. People just go attack you when you get into the, the, the martial arts. Thai boxing, Kyokushin, Western boxing, MMA, all the same. Okay. So for the uh, 1960s type of, uh, of, uh, of technical base, That is a very common user for typical traditional Chinese martial arts. Every school, every individual school have their own uh, have their own technical games rule. Every school. You have to do the technique this way, your pak sao this way your bong sao this way, your tan sao this way, and then when you do chi sao, you have to do it this way, that way. Practically every individual school have their own uh, technical game rule. Okay. And so this hand, this techniques will be uh, 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 parry, a uh, block by different Techniques or using what technique to break what techniques, which is very different than the uh, momentum play, where what I focus is only to continue attack. You attack me this way, I'm going to, to, to change the other way and attack you. I'm not going to parry, I'm not going to resist. And of course, people say, well, is uh, asking probably like, is guarding, guarding, blocking, or resisting, or pairing? No. Guarding is guarding. It's like a, you drive a motorcycle, you have a, a, what do you call it, a helmet to guard you so that you don't get hit accidentally, or if you get hit, uh, it's not going to cause, it's going to protect you. That's called guarding. And of course, they're like the checking. Checking, just probing, testing water. Those are not blocking and resisting. Even if you want to do a takedown, you're probably going to do a, a probing or checking, testing water before you go in. But that is very different than this hand will block that hand. That hand will block that hand. This hand has to be this angle. That hand has to be that angle. 
just want to share with you one thing. This is 100 years ago. This book is written 1930, Chinese fighting art. Over here at 1930s, they already say, like this techniques can break that technique, that techniques can break techniques. In this book, the writer saying that, do not believe on those stuff. Those who don't understand, thinking that uh, that is the way how to do it. This, this technique break that technique. This hand technique break the hand techniques. In the real life, if you want to do that, use that in the real life, you're going to get beat up. Okay? So don't believe on those things which, uh, which is not true. Speed, power, those are the reality. So this is 100 years ago. Okay, you can print it out, get somebody who knows Chinese to read it. So, today Chinese Kung Fu, typical one, not everybody, typical one, who get into this technical base, you can bet they cannot handle the momentum-based reality. Just another example. For example, in Wing Chun 1960, all those linear chain punch and uh, all those technique, you see that even this is 10 years ago. This is uh, in Vietnam, uh, in, the, in, the, in the sparring of uh, Wing Chun school. Look at it. Just a uh, few weeks ago, I shared that Si uh, Xiao Tong. Let's get in from the angle. So that uh, technical base type of Wing Chun is already at its limit that end. Straight line is not going to work. Everybody know how to go sideways and when one goes sideways, it is a momentum gain. You go straight at me, why do I have to do Tan Bong Fok? Just change the direction and shoot in. That is momentum game. So if you have a technical base type of game, and you want to face the reality when your technical base is people know about what you are doing and all those kind of stuff and you never know about the momentum base, you're going to not be able to work in the real world. So it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter this is in New York or somewhere in the United States. Or here, somewhere in South Asia or Vietnam. It doesn't matter. See, techniques is techniques like that. This is just uh, you get, get the sideway, all this momentum stuff. And you get back to one, uh, the first thing I said. You, Wing Chun need a momentum-based game. Wing Chun need a momentum-based game rules. If you fill yourself with all this uh, technical-based game rules, and you, you, you use the technical-based game rule to look at the world, 
which is what I found out these two days. Okay, this technical based game rule where you have to do your parts out this way, your 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 tons out this way, but mention nothing about body, and then you do your cheese out or whatever, but you never uh, mention the momentum exchange and so forth, and you have the the block, the parry, the diverting, the the power, everything. And then either badmouth those people or put down that people or praise these people. You know it is in a dead end. Okay. See, I'm not here, I'm I'm not here to, to promote violence. I'm just here to say that fighting is something not decent. But fighting is a technical issue. If we don't know what it is, we don't know the momentum base, you don't have the momentum rules, what do you got? Your techniques never be able to be applicable in the real fight. Look at all the Chinese martial arts. I have this tiger style, this uh, uh, crane style, this hand techniques like the movie, like my Tan Sao can do this, divert force, like uh, internal force and everything. But when you get down to the MMA, everything collapses. 460, uh, 460 years ago, as in this book, the real Chinese martial art grandmaster have already tell us it is a momentum game. So today, it divert into whatever the technical game. How is this going to survive? How is Thai Chinese Kung Fu is going to survive? It can. It cannot. It is just will be stay there like a ritual, the Chinese ritual. Is there anything wrong playing Chi Song? Nothing wrong with it. Is there any wrong, anything wrong if you go to the school and then the teacher say, okay, you come up here today. You give me a punch and I show the entire class. Do this Tan Sao 45 degree and then I turn myself 45 degree and I come in to uh, this gate or that gate. Any wrong with it? Anything wrong? Nothing wrong. But it is never the martial arts in the martial art world. So this is what I like to share with you. This is the first book in the West translate, present to you what exactly the general Chi Chi Kuang said. All the books, all the writing out there is oh my God, I don't even know what it is. Okay, you can get a PhD. Serious, you can get a PhD in Chinese, but you will not be able to read this. You can uh, like stay in China for hundreds of years if you're really not going into uh, investigate what it is you still don't know. So, so there's the problem. And as for what is Wing Chun, 1850s, this is the Wing Chun 1850s. But if you read this book with the uh, mindset of a technical base, then you will never get it. But if you read this book with the momentum base, then you can see things come alive. Okay. For example, if you watch this, if you read this book, this thing with the momentum base, you can see this alive. If you read this as a technical base, It is like what? It is like uh, learning how to drive while you're putting your car in stationary. And then you say, I'm going to turn my wheel, my, uh, the, 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 the driving wheel for 45 degree there. And then I'm going to turn it for 60 degree. Your engine is not on. You're just sitting down there stationary, turn that uh, the driving wheel. That is how it is. If you read it with a technical based mindset, but if you read it with a momentum, 
it is going become real. The same with all this food work, the plum flower food work. Plum flower food work is a flow. Plum flower food work is not like you now today people put can on the ground or put wood blocks on the ground or bricks on the ground and then walking, you know, a triangle shape. That's not what the ancient Chinese is talking about. So this is to share with you today. Mark my word. If it is not getting the 1850s Wing Chun game rules set and using that, you cannot grow Wing Chun and you cannot create talented people. Grow Wing Chun meaning that the entire world cannot rely on, like somebody said, uh, Wing Chun is Tan Pong folk. Just, just look at our computer's the, the screen. A long time ago, probably it is what? 200 something color. Today, how many colors is in our computer screen? Just look at say BJJ 50 years ago and BJJ today. How many new techniques have grown and how many talented people have come up? If you stuck with Tampong for 50 years ago and 50 years later and keeping talking about the story in the Red Boat, Jisim and Mui, well, for sure, you know that is fantasy. You know that is that. Okay? So let's put this straight. You want to talk technical, this is technical. Got nothing to do with the best fighter or what not best fighter. Everybody talking about this best fighter, did they ever go fight Si Xiao Tong? Did they ever go down to the Olympic? Did they ever go to the MMA games? So, there's nothing wrong if people want to do those type of Wing Chun. But for the Wing Chun martial art, the Chinese culture, Wing Chun has to go on. It has to be like a basketball game. That everybody be able to get it. Everybody be able to contribute. Everybody can expand the thing. And you see, even after 100 years of basketball, basketball never become a volleyball. But the way how they play the basketball is very different. Say, take BJJ. After so many decades of BJJ, BJJ never become uh, something else. But so many things now in, uh, uh, is uh, in BJJ, things improve. If Wing Chun not going through this, what is Wing Chun? Wing Chun is uh, it, just like something in the museum, like an opera in the museum. Make believe. So today we can see traditional Chinese martial art, most of it this technical based type of stuff, never be able to applicable. Si Xiao Dong just prove to you left and right. Disregard of your philosophy, your internal, whatever you make claim. That is reality.